What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum, back with another mail day. As you can see here, I've got four packages laid out on the table, and then I also have, this is one that I already opened, this was a, a uh, through the mail return for John Block, which is one of them that I thought might sign, but wasn't super sure about, so uh, happy to get that one back. Really, any of them I get back at this point are um, a bonus, because I've gotten most of the sure things by now, so happy to get John Block Okay, let's get into the mail here, and I these first two pieces, I know what they are, but I don't know which one is in what envelope, so I really don't have much of a lead for you. Okay, so here is the first one, and I am not big on sticker autos at all, but I wanted a nice big Pacers Buddy Healed patch, and uh, the only non-auto patches out there right now are um, small. So I, I went with this one. His autograph is not good. Uh, runs off a lot of the stickers. That's actually one of the better ones I've seen. So uh, I'm surprised this card is looks to be a lot thicker than 130 point. You can see that patch is, is way in there if you look down in that window. So I didn't know that these were that um, thick. I, I guess that's to accommodate some of the older patches that, and stuff they might be using. Uh, these new Nike patches, though, there's not much to them. Okay. So let me put that to the side so I don't mess anything up. So now I know what this one is. This is another Pacers patch. And it's one I've been wanting for a little while, but I knew the price would go down, and you'll, you'll see why. I mean, just the nature of what it is... Um, you know, just knew I knew the price would go down, so uh, it was just a waiting game, and it finally got to a point that I was happy with. If I can get it out of here, okay. So this, ooh, that's not good. I never like when I see that. So this is a Ben Matherin uh, Leaf Trinity RPA. Oof. So that is not good when they put tape across the top and they don't really pinch it so like that that card is stuck so um we are in a, a bad situation here normally that's a big problem with vintage cards i'm probably gonna have to damage that a little bit to get it out of here let me try this real quick i'm not trying to spend super long on this video but i also don't want to just damage my cards anymore Okay, so that freed it, thankfully, uh, with minimal damage. Even if it is damaged on that end, it's not going to show, I don't think, in a magnetic. So I can I can live with that. Okay, so we're good there. So anyway, this is a, a Leaf Ben Matherin RPA. And uh, Leaf has managed to do something with these that Panini has not done with that rookie class yet. And that is to have a player-worn patch. So... Um, I don't know a lot about them. I mean, Leaf didn't have their own photo shoot or anything like that. In fact, I messaged somebody else that was in the set, and I asked him when they wore the relics, and he just seemed super confused. So that, that's kind of what happens when you ask very specific card questions to people that, um, you know, aren't ready to answer them. So anyway, happy to add that RPA. And let's see here. I'm trying to think what this is. Okay, I know what this is. This is a, uh, a card that I bought recently that is not a Pacers card, but you'll see why, or at least you might have an idea why once you see what the card is, why I bought it. It's not a legend, not anything like that. Sorry, Heat fans, this guy's not a legend to me, although he is getting his jersey retired, I saw. They'll have to put, put it next to Dan Marino and, and Michael Jordan and Bill Russell. Um, all right, so this is a upper deck dual patch of Sean May, which I um, don't really care about Sean May, and then Udonis Haslam, numbered 50 out of 50. Now, the main reason I want this is, think for a moment, what is that piece there on the Haslam? Okay, so that's part of the Larry O'Brien trophy. Um, if this, since this is 2007, it would have to be from the 2006 finals. If this is from an actual jersey and not a warm-up, I believe, and I'll have to double check, I believe it's only from game two then because they only wore black jerseys in one of the games. Now, if it's from a warm-up, then I'll have some other checking to do. And it's hard to tell with those heat jerseys because they weren't 
the same mesh as a lot of the other companies. So their jerseys kind of looked like warm-ups anyway. So I'll have to do some digging to see if they had black warm-ups with these patches on there. But uh, either way, it appears to be a finals-worn Udonis Haslam jersey and a regular jersey card. Uh, and I have seen another copy that's got another piece of that trophy. So feel pretty good about that one. All right, how do we top that? Well, we top that with a player that I like. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this final card here. I gotta say, everything's packaged pretty well today, even with that tape issue with the Matherin. I mean, they, they made an attempt to protect it. It just didn't go right. All right, so this is a... It's the first time I've seen one of these in person. This is a uh, Panini Flux Fluctuations uh, Gold Cracked Ice, which I think there's also a gold mojo, so it, it, there's multiple golds here. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if I like Flux or not, but um, this was a Halliburton Pacers Gold. I got it for around 60 bucks shipped. And this picture on the right here, I did a little studying. That's from a game I went to last season against Miami where he hit 10 threes, scored 43 points, hit a dagger late. So I have good memories from that game. So I guess when you add all of that stuff up, even though I'm, I'm on the fence about Flux, I think I like this card. Now, maybe if I see the gold mojo, I might uh, go with that one instead and move this one. Who knows? I don't know if this has got a forever home in my PC the fact that it pictures a game I went to, though, that um, it's a pretty big factor for me. So, all right. Well, there you have it. You've got uh, a finals hopeful someday in Tyrese Halliburton. We've got a finals patch with Udonis Haslam. We've got a player-worn RPA from Ben Matherin. Got Buddy Heald. And then that TTM with John Block. So I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.